All right, kids, today we're doing order of operations. And so, what we know the order of operations is, in short, it's called PIMDAS. But what is PIMDAS, you ask? It is parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And so we do those in order when we look at the problem. And so we know we look at problems from left to right. And so the first thing that we look for is parentheses. We don't see any parentheses, so we go to the next one. And then we go to exponent. We don't see any exponents. And so then we go to multiplication. And the funny thing about multiplication and division is that they can be flipped. So if division comes first when it's on the left, then we can do division. But if multiplication is first, like it is in this uh, problem, then we do that first. And what do we know 4 times 6 is? 24. 24. All right. And then we're going to write the rest of the problem after that. And then we're going to go through the problem again. And we'll start with parentheses. We don't see any of this stuff. Then we go to exponents. There still isn't an exponent. And then we go back to multiplication. And we see that there's another multiplication. And what is 3 times 8? 24. All right. And so then we write the beginning again. We go minus 24. And then we're going to start again from parentheses. There's still no parentheses. Exponent, there's no exponent. Multiplication, there's no more multiplication. Division, there's no division. And then the same thing with addition and subtraction with the flipping. Um, with like addition, if it comes first on the left, then we do addition. But if subtraction's first, like it is here, then we do subtraction. And so what do we know 24 minus 24 is? Zero. Zero. Yeah. All right, kids. So now that we have done this problem very successfully, we're going to go to this problem. What's our first step? Well, everybody write it down on their boards. All right, so Miss Stern says the first step is to look over the, the order of operations. So the key is the parentheses. So within the parentheses, there's no other by itself, there's no other exponent, but there is multiplication. So we have to do that, so 4 times 2 is 8, so now we just rewrite it, and once one of y'all has taught it, the other person needs to teach it. Partner teaching is an amazing method to teach students a new concept. Each student learns by teaching and doing. Thus, the material is then reinforced by each student having to teach their partner the correct method and how to solve that particular step of the problem. Students continue working step by step until the problem is finished. It's during this process that the teacher can then work the crowd, focusing their attention on students' work, looking for correct answers and any inconsistencies.